Okay, it's time for reading. So let's grab our reading books. I have our assignment here on the board. We have reading. You need your maple tree book and on the bright side. So maple tree book and on the bright side. Now, um, at the beginning, when we thought we were gonna be out of school just for two weeks, I had sent home a, um, an assignment for you guys to finish your maple tree book to be ready to be turned in on the 30th. And we would work on our book report when we were able to come back. But plans may change a little. So I want to take today, which is Tuesday, and tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and I want to kind of wrap up Maple Tree. Okay, we want to kind of finish this up um, and uh, try to work on a format for our book report that we can do together. Okay, so on that note, we're going to start with Maple Tree today, and we're going to kind of go over some summaries for the chapters so far that you guys have been working on, and then we're going to uh, read a little bit of On the Bright Side. Um, pages 29 through 38 today, and then you'll be responsible for doing the questions on page 38 on your own. I think you're going to enjoy that story. That's one that we'll be familiar with. So let's go ahead and grab Maple Tree. I have my book, and um, uh, remember us talking about the missionary picnic summary not being a missionary type picnic or picnic for the missionaries, but that Hilda and her family um, went to a missionary picnic. After some disappointment, John encouraged Hilda with his kindness. So let's look at chapter 13. Chapter 13 is on page 91. Page 91, Travelers and Mischief. Travelers and Mischief. Now, if you have not already done this chapter, it's okay. Let's just kind of catch up and let's get on a plan that we're going to read and do our work daily, just like school is in, okay? So assignments, you know, you're gonna have your time at home. Um, so let's try to be sure we so that we can all stay together, okay? So chapter 13, just an introduction, an unwanted guest shows up at the house and John must quickly come up with a smart plan. Will John's quick thinking pay off? So let's look on page 153 for your summary. You guys should have already had a summary written by now. So let's look at it and see what we have. So I'll give you a second to turn to 153. I hope you just don't have um, some travelers came by and some mischief went on. You know, that's, mm, that's just a summary from the title of the chapter. Um, so let's make sure we're including some details the overall theme of the chapter, but we don't want to be, you know, not clear enough, not thorough enough, but then again, you know, we just want a summary, just a summary, without, a, without um, every detail from the chapter. So, um, the, I'll read the example from the book. When a traveler came to Hilda's house and asked for food, John quickly thought of a plan that would keep Hilda, Lois, and him safe, okay? So that's kind of what you need to have um, in your summary. So let me see, excuse me one second. I have Kayla, Miss Kayla, if you have your um, summary and you want to read yours, hey Kayla, I'll give you a second to read it. Hopefully you've done it, but if not, you're jotting down some information now and you check on yours and make sure that yours is the same as what we've had. Okay, so thank you, Kayla. All right, so let's move on to, um, I'm gonna do one more chapter with you and then I need you to read and summarize through chapter 16. Okay, so remember next year, you're going to be doing book reports. You're going to be doing book reports where your teacher says, hey, it's just like your math problem. Here's a book, you've got two weeks, I need a book report back. So we need to know how to go through and summarize the book. We, um, at home, we've been watching Disney Plus a lot here for the past couple of days, Frozen 2, 
is out there. And, you know, we've talked about this. You don't want to sit down and start at the beginning of the movie. There's no way you can remember every detail and everything that was said, every scene, everything. You give a summary, right? We've watched a lot of different movies. Some of the movies I've not seen before. So I'm like, hey, Catherine, what's that movie about? And she'll tell me, you know, two or three minutes. She's told me the whole movie. Oh, I kind of get the gist of the movie. So just remember, that's what you're wanting to do in your summaries. You're not in a book report will be able to write the entire book um, line for line. Um, you know, you just want to include the kind of the building, the before information. Remember, we talked about the climax, the most exciting part, and then kind of what happens out, you know, at the end. Um, so now let's look at chapter 14. So page 101, chapter 14, secret in the cupboard. Cupboard, cupboard, however you want to say it. We've had this conversation at school. Some people say cupboard, that's fine, however you want to say it. Um, but let's look at page 101. I hope that you've summarized this chapter as well and had a chance to read it. If not, please be sure you read over it so that when you're writing your report, you'll have that information, okay? So, introduction to the chapter. During an exciting game of hide the thimble, Ooh. Hilda and John find something very special hidden in Mama and Papa's room. What do you think it is? Oh my. So let's go to Secret in the Cupboard. Now, your summaries from chapters 14 through 19 will be on page 154. So be sure that you're switching over to page 154. So I'm going to pick, let's see. Get turned upside down, just like normal. Everybody's going to get a turn, remember? Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Have you done your summary yet? If not, no problem. But if so, check yours right now. Hey, Chloe. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's look at your summary. So, Chapter 14 is an exciting chapter. Something new is getting ready to happen. Let's check it out. I want to read you the book summary, and then you can kind of check yours. If you have more detail, it's fine. But, you know, we don't want to be taking chapter 14 and writing all down the side of the page and up to page 155 and all in the back of the book. It's a summary. So, the book says, as an example, as they were playing, Hilda and John discovered that their family might be getting a new baby. A new baby. Oh, it's too exciting. So we have a couple of chapters left in this book. Again, we'll go over a couple of chapters again tomorrow. I really want this book finished. I had asked you guys by the 30th, so I really want to try to keep on that schedule um, as we're going through. So again, Maple Tree, um, today's the 24th through chapter 16 summarized, okay? And we'll, you know, work out all these other details as we're going through. All right, so let's put Maple Tree to the side for a few minutes and let's grab on the bright side. On the bright side. We are working on page 28, um, page 28, Fairs of Lord Jesus. Um, this is a, um, a song that, um, that we sing in church sometime. It is giving honor to God's creation. Um, I, I know we've been apart, but as we've been apart, spring has come in and it's no longer winter. And I've been cutting some grass at home on some pretty days and I have flowers blooming and I have a tree outside my window and it's budding and you know it's just a new season and um, as we look at creation and we look at around us we just just take in God's beauty I saw some tulips at school um, when I was there on Sunday and uh, they are just beautiful Miss Kim planted them outside in the box and they are just absolutely gorgeous. There's one red tulip, then there's one tulip that has red and yellow together on it. It just looks like a splash of color. 
and it is absolutely beautiful. So as we are going into this new season, we've got the pollen, but you know, we've got to have pollen for things to grow, even though it makes us sneezy. Those little bees have to work and, and spread that pollen for things to bloom. Just take in the beauty. Um, like I said, things are growing. We're going to be, it's going to have some warm days ahead. When the sun comes, it's just like, you know, just beauty. You can just see it forming. You can see those buds coming out of those trees and I can see my grass growing again and I can just see those things coming out of buttercups and they're just, they're just beautiful. So let's look on page 28. Um, there are many beautiful things in our world, sunlight, waterfalls, blooming flowers, but there is one that is fairer than anything we can see. He is called the fairest. Now this is a poem. So remember we have, uh, excuse me, we have poems written in stanzas. So if you look here, how many stanzas do we have? Two, correct. And remember poems are written to rhythms they're not just paragraph reading. So as we are looking at um, the poem, Fairest Lord Jesus, you follow along with me as I read. Fairest Lord Jesus, Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, O thou of God and man the Son, thee will I cherish, thee will I honor. Thou my soul's glory, joy and crown. Fair is the sunshine, fair is still the moonlight, and the twinkling starry host, Jesus shines brighter. Jesus shines purer than all the angels heaven can boast. So pause one second. Um, Harrison, hey Harrison, if you're out there and you're reading with us, um, hey, if you could read the John 8, 12 at the bottom, um, if you could read that verse for us. Yes, thank you. John 8, 12, then spake Jesus again unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We need some light right now. We need God's light on us right now shining. Um, again, I miss you guys so much. I can't tell you how much I think about you. And I was so excited to be able to get this stuff together and come and be with you today. And we're gonna to try to keep our joy and keep our spirits high until we can be together again. Um, so with that being said, we're finished with our poem. Let's move to the story of Joseph. Oh, I told you you would enjoy your reading for today. This is a familiar passage for us today. The story has, I'm sorry, dig deeper at the, at the top. This story has an exciting plot. As you read it, notice what happens in the beginning, the middle, and end. Ask yourself where characters' actions or events change or where surprises are revealed to find the climax. By discovering why an author wrote this story, you may find the moral. The moral, what, is, what are we trying to learn? What is our character theme here? Um, our stories here, our Bible lessons, um, we, we're always looking for how can we grow from God's word? How can we grow from these stories? Right here, this story is serving two purposes. Not only is it our reading material for today, but it is also a chance for us to look at the story of Joseph and to see what is God trying to teach us here. Faith, we've talked about faith, Hebrews chapter 11, our faith chapter. Forgiveness, that's hard sometimes, isn't it? We've talked about the idea of someone does something to you, but you, you try to forgive them, but you keep playing it over in your mind. You think about it when you see them, so have you really forgiven them? I don't know. And kindness. We need a lot of kindness in this world today. I've seen so many examples of people helping each other out in these times. Um, you know, we, we, just, we just need to be sure that we are um, exhibiting the fruits of the spirit that Jesus wants us to show 
during hard times, not just when everything's good and we're making hundreds on our test and we're all in school and we're eating ice cream, but also when we have times like these where it's uncertainty. We still to re need to remember kindness and self-control, okay? So just to give you a little introduction, the story of Joseph. This is one of my favorite stories of faith and forgiveness and um, standing for what is right. The Bible says, all things work together for good to them that love God. We will see that verse is proven true as we read the story of Joseph. Okay, so the story of Joseph, it's retold from scripture. Um, we don't have Miss Bethany writing us stories today. It is retold from scripture. So let me pause one second and let me grab Miss Abby. Hey, Abby. Hope you're um, with us and enjoying the lesson here. Um, I know you're always eager to read and always have your hand ready to go. I'm like, Abby, have a question? Mm -mm, just wanted to read. So, Abby, if you would like to, I'm going to pause just for a second and um, let you read the first page there, that first paragraph about Joseph. Hey, Abby. Abby, I could hear you reading in my head. I could hear your words. I could hear you um, reading in our classroom. So thank you, Abby. Thank you for that. Um, so the introduction is there. You have the basis. You kind of find out who your main characters are, Joseph. Um, this is about um, uh, Jacob, his dad, Joseph, and his brothers. And, it's, you know, we kind of already know the basis, the background information. So this um, introduces our main character. Okay? Um, so page 30 we are going to uh, continue. Now, on page 30, um, I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs, and then um, you're going to read a paragraph or two, and we'll go through a couple of pages together, and then I'm going to ask that you finish out the story on your own, just like we would if we were in class, and then you read, uh, I'm sorry, answer the questions on page 38. When we uh, come back together tomorrow, for our reading class. I will start with page 38. We'll go over those questions and then we'll move to our next story. Okay, so page 30. I'm going to read a couple of paragraphs. Okay, we were binding the sheaves in the field. He told his brothers when he awoke, lo, my sheaf arose and stood upright and behold, your sheaves stood round about and bowed to my sheaf. Now, I can see Miss Judy teaching this right now. And the sheaves, that those bundles of wheat. Oh, thank goodness I wasn't there. But those sheaves bow down. So that's a, like a bundle of wheat, okay? Because of their jealous hearts, when Joseph's brothers heard of his dream, they thought that Joseph wanted to rule over them all. They hated him even more. Kind of falls along with our Bible today, doesn't it, about Daniel and people being jealous and that jealous leading to jealousy leading to hatred. Not long after this, his older brothers were feeding their flocks of sheep in the fields, and their father Jacob sent Joseph to check on them. When they saw him, they said, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Let us slay him and say some evil beast hath devoured him. I want to pick a reader here. Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, buddy. If you're following along with us and you want to take this time to read right where we left off, I'm going to give you a few seconds to read, and then we'll pick up with another reader. Hey, Jeremiah. So, Jeremiah, you're picking up at, but Reuben, the oldest. Sorry, Jeremiah, read through so his brothers. Read two paragraphs. Okay, thank you. Just as they had done this, some, oh, Jeremiah, I could hear you reading. Thank you. Just as they had done this, some merchants came by on their way to Egypt. 
without Reuben, the brothers made a decision to sell Joseph as a slave to the merchants. And away Joseph went to a land where he had never been before. Okay? We're going to stop there in our reading together. And you take the rest of your reading time in your day. This is just like a regular school day. And I want you to read pages 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and answer the questions on page 38. Now, if you get stuck on a question or something you don't understand, you're welcome to leave it. But please just don't stop the assignment. Fill in as much as you know, and we will come together tomorrow, and we will start on page 38, and we will uh, go from there. So remember, your assignments from reading today, Tuesday, March 24th, through chapter 16 summarized in Maple Tree. On the bright side, pages, uh, we're on 31 through 38, and questions on page 38, okay? So as we go through the book, um, we will uh, do some more reading together, probably a few more pages next time together, but um, we wanted to um, have this time together to read and it's just trial and error right now. We'll see how these go. And some days Rachel will be with me. She had to leave me. She had to go to work. So some days she can read with us. Mr. Upchurch will be reading with us. So um, I appreciate you guys um, uh, taking this time and reading. And hope you enjoy the lesson. And we are finished with reading now. So if we were in our day after reading, uh, we might be close to lunch. So if you want to have some lunch right now, that's fine. But if you don't, um, if you want to continue to go on or if it's supper time, whatever you want to do. But after this, we will have our language lesson. So thanks, guys.